slide. Oh, 116. Okay. So, my math is terrible. I, I wouldn't know how he did this, how physics work. All right, easy. That's his name. Easy. All right, we're having a little bit of fun. Uh, went around that road surface hazard. Going back and forth. I don't see any gloves, right? No gloves. Um, maybe a little bit of a power slide. A little bit of a throttle. You know, maybe a little bit of that. Oh, he's still alive. Okay. Oh, we got we got some uh, after. Oh, I thought that was it. So a little bit of scrapage. GoPro is completely destroyed. It's a Hero 3 Plus. I mean, it's a little old. I don't know how old this video is. Is that his leg? I don't know what that is. Well, his GoPro flew off. All right. So I don't know exactly where we are other than it's a McDonald's. We're going to go around here. So we lost traction on that rear tire just a little bit. Now, I look at the road. It looks pretty good. But you hear the RPMs go up. So why would that cause that rear tire to slide a little bit at 16 miles per hour? Why would it slide? Oh, 116. Okay. So, my math is terrible. I, I wouldn't know how he did this, how physics work. Uh, but yeah, so maybe the rear tire spun out and it's like 116. The bike's thinking you're going to 116. So that's a lot of throttle. That's a lot of rear tire spin. So here's the thing. He's turning, rear tire's spinning because he gave it a lot of throttle. It broke traction, starts to spin, so you start to slide. So think of ice. You lose traction on ice. You lose traction on spinning it like this. Same thing with slamming the brakes. You're going to lose traction. It's just slippy slidey. So we're going to slippy slide, and we're going to get over here, and it's going to grab traction. So here it is. We're going to go ahead and give it a little bit of throttle, actually a lot of it, and we start to slippy slide that rear tire. It's starting to slide out in front of us, and now it grabbed traction because we probably rolled it off or whatever it is, and now it's a high side. So we get launched forward, and then here's the head smack in the ground so easily a concussion easily a problem it's a no bueno make sure you are not gunning it on a turn just don't gun it like super hard like that easy smooth inputs smooth braking smooth throttle smooth shifting smooth turning the goal is to be smooth smooth is fast everybody slow is smooth smooth is fast All right, here we go. Sun in the eyes. So when it, oh, he's gonna go off the road and he hits the ground. There's the shoulder and the head. He's gonna get up. Okay, walking wounded. His arm is still useful. Stop honking. It's annoying. It's annoying. Just stop. It's like right in that guy's face. It's directional. You're, you're gonna have to pull that out a little bit. All right. So instead of honking, talk on your pack talk. You know, we got a link in the description for a nice discount. Talk to your talk to your buddies on a pack talk system. Get the dual pack. It's a lot easier to split it with a buddy. Um, so what happened here? We're riding around here, we're having a good time with a bunch of friends behind us. This is a guy in front. Um, if there was more people in front, your pack talk can reach around <laughs> uh, the mountain a little bit using the mesh technology and everything, so you can still communicate and tell people, "Hey, we crashed," and they can stop. Maybe turn around and rescue a rider. But right here, we had some decent body positioning. We we're doing some pretty good stuff. What do you think is the factor? Maybe just a little bit too fast for him? Probably. Uh, sun in the eyes? Maybe. A sharper turn than we anticipated? Maybe. Uh, there's a bunch of different things. A bunch of different things. A little panic? Maybe. But we started going off the road because we were uh, applying brakes while trying to turn at the same time. And then he's going to go ahead and fall down on his left side. Okay, so he hit the guardrail and he's going to fall on his left side. So we have left leg, left shoulder, left hip, and then our head hitting. And I'm not saying left side of the head. Because the brain itself, that's what I care about. The skull is whatever, okay? The skull is protected by the, the helmet, and then there's going to be absorption from the helmet itself. What I care about is the brain. So what's happening is when you hit the ground on the left side, it, the brain is going to hit the inside of the left side of the skull and get a nice little bruise. That's the coup part. The contra coup is when the brain sloshes to the other side. So it's going to hit this side, and it's going to slosh and hit the other side. So now you're going to have a bruise here and a bruise here on this side of the brain. If you get punched in the face, you're going to get a bruise here because it's going to hit. I'm sorry, it's going to get hit in the back. You're going to boom, bruise on the back of the head, and you're going to go forward again, bruise here. Anytime you hit your head against something, there's a rebound effect, and your brain will just slosh inside the cerebral spinal fluid. Boom. 
you're going to have bruises everywhere, which could be uh, a big tear and you have really bad bleeding. You know what bruises, right? It's just inflammation with, with, with fluids and possibly blood. You don't want blood on the brain. That's not good. Not good. So stop honking the horn. It's directional. It's a directional horn. You're, you're blowing it into that guy's ears. The better thing to do would be able to communicate on a pack talk here. Now rescue another rider if you have to, but it looks like he's doing okay. And let's just help him out and get his bike. Here we go. Sean Cheney. Riding around. Uh, left turner right there. Good break, great break, 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 swerve. A little, oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! Pucker moment. A little turtle heads poking out. So we have a vehicle wide open lane, wide open everything, wide open road. And this person is slowing down, this white vehicle is slowing down. So what is it that we should understand in this situation? If, if a vehicle is slowing down like this, why would they do that when they have a big open road? Okay, you have to think about it, orient yourself to the situation here. Is this a break in the sidewalk? So what is that? It's an intersection. Intersection. Okay, so somebody's gonna do this. So that's a path to trial violation. Left turners gonna kill ya. Kills a lot of motorcyclists. Not that they hit us. We hit them, okay? So we got to watch out for that. If that means, um, if we hit them, that means we have control of a lot of this. So they're going to turn in front of us. Now, we are applying the brakes right away. So good job on the perception. Great job on the reaction. Very quick. Now is the moment for breaking distance. So he's, I think, rev bombing at the same time, maybe? Uh, but anyways, we're braking, and we have to swerve left because that's going to be where our escape is because the to the right... This area is going to close. It's going to close up because this person's going this way. Pretty obvious, right? Um, they're not going to pop it in reverse and try to get out of your way in the middle of this. So they're either going to go straight or stop. So you need to do this. Okay? Once you do this, you need to get back into your lane and get around it because you don't want to be in oncoming traffic. So let's watch. Didn't really do too much, but that's because we waited to the last second to do anything. And we're going to check our pants. Okay, so when we see this, look for those intersections. Look for those left turners. Swerve. Get yourself out of danger. Move on with your day. Okay, here we go. Moving on. Motorcycle versus crazy drivers. Once again, we have a sun in the eyes. Going 62 miles per hour. Not too bad. Flow of traffic is a little bit faster than you, which is which means we're not speeding, right? So he's gonna get in front of us and slow down like a jerk. Rev bombing doesn't solve anything. The fact that you moved over did. You uh, located the hazard and adapted to it and moved on. All right. Another so Rider Ray 2125. Dude, without making sure, he changes several lanes at once. Going okay, intersection. Watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good braking on the Indian Scout, which probably has ABS. The Indians are really nice. Looks like he has a rock form mount. Don't chase him down. Do not chase him down. Oh, it is a rock form mount. Look at it. He's got the tether. Do you use code DANDAN25? Or the link in the description? Link in the description is what gets you the best discount. This is really good emergency braking. I really want to point out some of the good stuff. Without making sure he All right, so we're going to an intersection. We should be prepped and ready. Uh, we should be in orange stage. Going now, it looks like it, it's yellow right here. And we're still going pretty fast. The biker. I think he was going to try to hit that light or go through that light. So, uh, Rider Ray 2125, we should have tried to stop already. Should have been stopping. Intersections are dangerous. Should have been in orange stage. It's a yellow light. We should stop. In front of the bike. We should stop. So, ABS kicked in and was able to stop him in time before hitting this vehicle. But it's a red light. What? Why are we going so fast? Because we're trying to make the light. So, situation awareness, not very good. Maintaining your fundamental skills, extremely good. Acquire and utilize personal protective equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rescue another rider. We don't have to. It's teaching and mentoring us, though. So, being a smart rider, grabbing a rock form, did what he needed to do. We stalled. Good job starting it back up. California prices for gas was insane. And we're going to move on. 
Here we go. Tattoo motorcycle freak. Moving on with this one. Intersection. We're good. We're good. Watch out. Did you see that car coming? So it's a yellow light. Why did the car not see him? What did we talk about the focal vision, everybody? The focal vision. Right? We're, we're, we're zooming in, looking around with our focal, squinting maybe a little bit, looking at things. What do you think this car driver's focal vision is on? Class, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think this car's focal vision is on? Nobody better say anything about my hair. It's looking pretty bad. I'll shave it tonight, all right? This focal vision is probably on the light over here and making sure they're not hitting a red light. So they're gunning it, looking at the light. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. They're not looking for anything. That's my guess. They could be looking for cars, too. Their cell phone. Who knows? But I'm guessing they're looking at the light, seeing that if they're going to make it or not. Didn't see the giant neon green highlighter riding a motorcycle. Now, how come we didn't see this? Did we just assume that that person would have stopped because it's turning into a yellow into a red? Probably. So we assumed they would stop. They weren't paying attention. Multiple factors is going to lead to a close call and a crash. So here's the thing that saved uh, uh, this collision, because there was none, but it prevented the collision. That's what I should say, is that the motorcycle rider caught on, applied some progressive brake pressure, a little bit of a skid, maybe locked up the rear, and put himself out of danger. And this person kind of saw it. So let's watch it and then go through. But here's the thing. Intersections, prepped and ready, orange stage. You are looking for hazards. You're actively scanning. You're trying to find a hazard. Trying. Just like when you're buying a car or doing anything, all of a sudden you start to see it everywhere. You want to buy a Toyota Tacoma? Guess what? You're going to start seeing Toyota Tacomas everywhere. Because you're actively thinking about it, actively looking for it, and now you see it. So when you're actively looking for hazards at intersections, guess what? You're going to see it. Now, what do you look for? Not a Toyota Tacoma only. You're looking for sides of the vehicles. You're looking for the lights. You're looking for left turners. You're looking for the gravel on the road when you make your own turn. Those are the hazards you need to look for. They both kind of figured it out last second. So the neon green only helps out so much. They have to be looking at you. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.